we begin holy people. Lord, we do want to declare that we love you. Say that again. We love you. Again and again. I will say that forever. I love you. 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 Father, we love you. Son, we love you. Holy Spirit. Father, we appreciate your sacrifice, your love that we I love you. You came from heaven to earth in search of me. You died upon the cross in place of me. Right upon the cross. What kind of love is this? I cannot comprehend. Love that knows no end. Love so amazing, so I say I love you. I love, I love you. I love you. I love you. Holy week. I love you. Yes, at this beginning of Holy Week, an opportune time to express our love, to thank God, to thank our Lord for his unconditional, his sacrificial love, for his model to us of the kind of love that keeps giving, the kind of love that is life-giving. And so as we enter our third day of the fifth week of our journey, our journey of inner healing through the sorrowful mysteries, day three, week five, wow, we have just five more days to go. And we would have completed a 40-day journey by the grace of God. Let us turn our hearts in contemplation of the crucifixion. In particular, let us reflect on the meaning of true love. The way our Lord Jesus demonstrated for us, modeled for us. True love by his death on the cross. His ultimate act of self-sacrifice captures the essence of divine love, the essence of unconditional, selfless, and life-giving love. A challenge to you and I. Our scripture of emphasis, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his own son he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. That whosoever, and that is you, that is me, believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Most of us are familiar with this verse? Have we contemplated the way that it captures the depth of God's love for humanity? The kind of love so profound that it led to the greatest sacrifice of all time. Beloved. Our Lord Jesus' crucifixion challenges you and I, challenges our understanding of love. It pushes us beyond the mere superficial emotions, the mere superficial expressions of love. 
It pushes us to recognize love for what it is as demonstrated by our Lord, an act of will, the act of choosing the good of the other person, even at great personal cost. Our Lord Jesus on the cross, his death, is the ultimate testament to this sacrificial love, this love that chooses the good of the other over our own good, even at the expense of our own comfort. Our Lord Jesus' death, which he offered so freely for our salvation, is a demonstration of that ultimate love that we've all been called to. Seeing how he loved us despite our faults and our failings. Beloved, let us reflect on our perceptions, on the ways that we express love. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to help us do a sincere, soul-searching examination of how well we are responding to our Lord's model. How do I, how do you, my brother, how do you, my sister, align with the sacrificial love that our Lord Jesus displayed? How do you align? How do your actions, how does your expression of love to the next person align with the model that our Lord Jesus has left us? In what ways can we grow, Holy Spirit? In what ways can I grow in my embodiment of this true, pure, sacrificial love? in my relationships, in my day-to-day -day life. How would you have me grow, Lord? Where do I need to grow? What do I need to do different? Holy Spirit, help us to identify specific tangible acts of love that we can perform day by day throughout this week, this special week, holy week. What are some acts of love that I can begin to do, begin to demonstrate, begin to exhibit so that beyond the holy week, it becomes a second nature to me and it becomes my default and all the days of my life that becomes the way that i will love sacrificially help me during this holy week to embrace a new understanding new interpretation a new channel of loving the jesus channel of loving Help us, Lord, to focus on actions that require us to make a sacrifice. Help us to focus on actions that require us to put another person's needs ahead of our own. Actions that cause us to eliminate selfishness, greed, and all of those vices that prevent us from loving purely and sacrificially as our Lord will have us. Help us to focus on actions that embody the self-giving love of Christ that he handed us as a model. I pray that each of us during this Holy Week will create time so that we can meditate, so that we can pray, so that we can 
focus on this sacrifice of our Lord that we remember on Good Friday, that we will actually journey with our Lord in meditation, through our prayers, through our focus. May the Holy Spirit help us throughout this Holy Week to cultivate that discipline and then beyond how we will contemplate the depths of our Lord's love, love for us. And not only that, that we will ask for the grace to love on others with the same selfless quality of love that we have received, that we have been loved, the same love that our Lord Jesus has extended to all of us, that by the grace of God, we will love others with the same selflessness. Can we begin in this Holy Week to enter a new level, to upgrade our giving, to update our love application, to take it to the next level, to take it to the zenith as our Lord will have us to. So that indeed we will be able to celebrate this as our best Lenten experience ever and the beginning of greater, deeper Lenten experiences to come. May the Holy Spirit help us to dedicate time to studying biblical passages, studying the writings from the saints, our fathers and mothers in faith, their writings that help us to explore, help us to understand the nature of divine love, to understand it in tangible ways where we can interpret these by our day-to-day -day actions beginning in this Holy Week. May the Holy Spirit help us to reflect on how their insights can shape our understanding and our practice of love by the power of the Holy Spirit that we will put action around the things that we've heard, that we've learned during this season, and that they will become for us habits, sustainable all the days of our lives. Lord Jesus, we love you. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. And I will say that again. Again and again. I will say that forever. I love, I love you. I love, I love. You died upon the cross in place of me. What kind of love is this? I cannot comprehend. And comprehend it. Love that knows no end. Love that knows no end. Love so amazing. Love so I say I love you. I love you. There 
of our Lord Jesus. You have shown us the true meaning of love. Help us to understand and to embody this sacrificial love in all that we do. Seeing every act of kindness, seeing every sacrifice as an opportunity to reflect your love to the world. May our life be a witness to the love that our Lord Jesus taught us. A love that seeks not its own, but the good of others. To Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. To Christ our love we pray. Amen. May the Holy Spirit guide us throughout this holy week inspire us to reflect tangibly reflect reasonably reflect productively on the true meaning on the deep meaning of true love may the holy spirit inspire us to recognize our lord's ultimate sacrifice so that it becomes our model for how we should live out our love in our own lives, how we should live out the love that we have experienced from him, live it out in our lives by being a reflection of that love and impacting that love onto others. May the Holy Spirit inspire us, transform our understanding of love, of sacrificial love. May the Holy Spirit empower us so that we can express love in such a way that is divine. Express love in the ways that are meaningful. Express love in such ways that by our love, because of our love, others will give glory to our Father in heaven. And day by day, we will leave out the word that says, let your light shine before men so that they will see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. May the Lord help us to experience a spiritually fulfilling holy week in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll see you all on Monday. Have a special